hey guys welcome to protocol dash point okay so in this tutorial let's check out how to integrate upi payment in flutter okay so let's get started so here is my device that has been running where i have implemented upi payment in flutter so this is my flutter application so there is the item been shown over here so when i press on this buy now button so the upi payment will get open where i you where the user can select which type of payment he want to select from this items okay so if i select google pay you can see the google pay op will get open okay so here uh, i can't show you my mobile screen because uh, google pay will not permit me to show the screen okay so you can see here is it is showing me a warning to data transfer to usb is not allowed so i cannot show you the screen so i will just attach a screenshot of my device over here okay so to integrate uh, upi payment in flutter we are going to make use of a library called as upi underscore uh, india so the current version is 3.0.1 and this uh, supports only android devices for now so in future it might support ios device also okay so for now it supports only android so this is the package we are going to make use of to integrate uh, upi in flutter application okay so to use this application first of all we need to add it in our uh, project in under dependency section so you can just go to our source code or specification.yaml file and under dependency section add this library okay so after adding this hit this pub get button to download this library in your external storage device okay and after that uh, to use this you just need to import it wherever required okay so please note that i am not going to type each and everything in this tutorial because i have already uh, code i have already coded everything over here okay so i will just explain you how to make use of this uh, upi india package to integrate upi in our flutter application so first of all let's go to this package uh, documentation okay so read me okay so over here you can see everything is been given so first of all we must create an object by making use of upi india class so this is the object been created okay and then to make the payment by making use of that api you must uh, use initialize transition with start transition okay so over here we must uh, pass this all properties so first one is the upi app uh, through which the user is willing to make the payment the receiver id that is the owner id to which the money will be credited the receiver name that will be displayed to the user the transaction id uh, the note for which the user is paying and the amount that the will, uh, user is paying okay so this is the main thing okay so let's go to our code okay so over here i have created three uh, variables one is upi response the transition was successful or it was unsuccessful that response will be stored in this transition variable okay so here i have created an object by making use of upi india class okay so i have imported it over here okay so here in the list uh, upi app list will be a list of all the apps that is been installed in our app uh, in our device okay so let me show you my device okay so this is my device mobile physical device so this is my physical device so if i see the google pay is been installed the phone pay is been installed and uh, paytm is been installed i think so yeah so the paytm is installed over here okay so here in google pay and paytm i have activated my account that is upi account by making use of paytm but in phone pay i have not activated the phone pay so i have just installed it but i have not uh, signed in into the application and completed the process okay so now if i go to this buy now click on buy now so you can see only google pay and phone pay is been shown and the phone pay uh, paytm is been shown but the phone pay is been not been shown because i have not signed in into the app okay so here we will get all the list of apis uh, application that is the upi application been installed in our device okay so it has been done in the init state when this page has been activated okay so we will get all the list of uh, apps over here 
okay and the list of apps is being shown on the device like this okay by using this widget so you can see if there is no app been found if it is null then i'm just showing a circular progress indicator and if it is empty if there is no upi apps been installed then i'm just showing no apps found to handle transition and if there are app then i'm just listing out all the apps uh, that has been installed okay so now whenever the user uh, clicks on the transition to make the payment to make the payment like this so i cannot see you show you the screen because the google pay don't allow screen recording okay so the screenshot will be attached over here okay so here i have selected the upi uh, payment applications as phone uh, google pay so here uh, the google pay will be passed the receiver address the receiver uh, upi address the receiver name so here transition and the note for uh, the making the payment and how much the amount the user has to pay uh, to this person so this is the transition transaction okay yeah okay so whenever this uh, this payment has been successfully done so this will return an object uh, to the transition so let me check where is this this has been used okay so we will get the data that payment was successful or unsuccessful to this variable okay and then by making use of this variable we are just showing uh, a message on the screen uh, that uh, the payment was successful or no such as transaction id reference code transaction reference code success or not success approved or not approved okay so all these things will be listed into the application okay so you can just get the source code from my website protocoldespoint.com so it is very easy to understand and to integrate uh, upi in your flutter application okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocoldespoint thank you